Hi. Today we're going to actually have students study a little bit more and practice their application of a different number system. Quick background, we count on a base 10 number system. We happen to come equipped with typically 10, uh, 10 digits on our extremities in combination. That may or may not be why we use a base 10 number system. Computers, however, are made entirely differently. They have uh, what boils down to on-off switches inside. That's what they're made out of, almost like a light switch. The binary number system is based on two. So with any number system, the highest digit is the base minus one position for a zero. So in one position or one character, the values in our base 10 go from zero through nine. You can't fit the number 10 in one position. Similarly, binary with the base two, the highest digit you can achieve is the base minus one for the value of zero, which means you've got zero or one, off or on. Now it's a radically different way to think about numbers. And when you see a number that's written as one zero, we would read that as 10, unless we knew we were talking about binary. So remember, if we look at a number, the position of it relates to a value. So the rightmost position is always going to be the ones position. And if it's a zero, the number is zero. If that number is a one, it's a one. And the thing that varies is if you try to put a higher value in that first position with binary, you need to use higher positions. And with a base 10 number system, you can go all the way up to nine before you have a carry. So in binary, one plus one equals zero, carry the one. Rather than worry about the math, today's activity is going to have you focus on the process of identifying what a pattern of zeros and ones relates to. And we're going to go back and forth between binary values and base 10 values. There's a link provided which should get you to this information on the Cisco website behind me. And it's very important that you consider reading the instructions. It's, uh, if you don't, you're going to be a little bit lost. So let's take a look together. And so binary puzzles and all right, so we're going to, we're going to go ahead and start this. I thought this would give us a little bit better idea. So what you'll see down here is there, the values for the positions are conveniently listed for you across the bottom. I'll use my head to indicate that rightmost position here is the, is the ones position. And as I move over, you'll see that the value one is, is revealed. The next position over, which we're used to being the tens position, is actually the twos position. It's a little bit radical, but with binary, what's happening is we're saying um, one. When, you, when you've used that one position, the next position over is a carry. That's a value of two. And, and, and so we're going to double by the base. In a base 10, whenever we go over, it's times 10. So it's the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. We're always multiplying by the base. In a base two number system, we're always still multiplying by the base. So it's going to be one times two is two. The next position over is two to the next power, which is four. That's two squared. Two to the third. Remember, it's a power is eight. Two to the fourth is 16. And so I'm going to reveal all the numbers down there. I want to highlight for you again what we're talking about with uh, with this mouse. So the ones position times two is two, times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32, times two is 64, times two is 128. Those positions are telling us the value. Is, yeah. We don't use these to turn them off and on. The pattern here that I want to match would be the value of two. Now, this is the ones position, this is the twos position, this is the fours position, so this does not match. If I corrected the pattern by turning this one off and this one on, that row has matched. The mask or combination of zeros and ones matches the base 10 number on the other side. For a five, and here's a big hint, the one will always be on if it's an odd number. So five, for example, you know you're going to leave that on. We need to combine that with another value here to come up with a total value of five. So I'm going to click on four. 
Now, in this instance, what you're doing through is you're going through the reverse process. So I need to understand that if the 16th position is on, one meaning that's on or true, I need to understand that the value there is 16. So I'm going to type in 16 and accept it. And this one, 2 plus 1, similarly, you need to indicate that it's a 3. So up upper right-hand corner, you're going to see your score, you're going to see your level, and your lines left. You also have an option to turn the sound off or on, pause the game, or end the game. I'm going to save this brief demo. As you can see, almost Tetris-like, over time, it will add more levels to you. And eventually, if the screen fills, your game is over. So you'll build up speed and confidence and understanding by doing this process. And it's, it's a game. It's a game where you, your skill that you're using is using binary. Cool. Um, put, put in a private comment once you've got this done. That's pretty much a wrap for this demo.